My name is uh, Isaac Nouri and I'm going to play the first movement from Brahms' Sonata in E minor. Wonderful. Just, just uh, let's let's just uh, start again from. Just because uh, that's one of the best spots. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Bravo. A really very noble playing um, serious music making. I, re I really appreciate that uh, a lot. Thank you. Great sound uh, also. Um, there's one, well, one general remark, I would say. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of, uh, of the way you also played the Corday. Um, yeah. Of course, two completely different styles. Uh, I think with all the noble quality of your playing, uh, you need to leave the comfort zone a little bit more often. <laughs> And, and, and really uh, let those eruptions uh, happen, even more physical. Um, physical in the sense of, of uh, maybe even risky fingering sometimes, or <laughs> I, have, I have always this... Um... <laughs> For instance, you know, <laughs> these moments. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is um, I do like, um, in a way, you, you make the note swing. And I was thinking, is that, do you do that because it's a Bach homage, this piece? Um, or, well, like in the beginning, it was very, very yeah. obvious. I do that because it's also the, the, the Bach relation, but also because, like, it says legato, but there is no legato, so I try to do legato without legato. Yeah, so that's like actually, the, the I think it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a great way of thinking. The result it was too many single notes, I have mm -hmm. to say. You know, there were too, too many interruptions. Um, um, I think uh, that you should, uh, or that we should work on, on the connection of notes to create a legato, you know, and, instead of too many of the bellies. Mm -hmm. um, thinking of homage à Bach, um, I think that Brahms was very aware of, of uh, you know, uh, string-specific um, elements of like uh, how articulations work on, on, on string instruments because he was in close contact with Joachim and with Hausmann. And in this, looking at this sonata, I find uh, some articulations in, uh, like differences in articulations in the theme throughout the movement that not too many cellists uh, are uh, really uh, realizing and, and, and you also not. Um, um, <laughs> Yeah, for instance, this is kind of uh, this kind of bow vibrato thing, and and he uses it in, in, in very very different um, uh, ways. But it's even lower. Then it's no, it's it's really separate because it, it needs more clarity. Yeah. And then um, uh, what's what's the the range in the uh, yeah yeah it's completely, that's completely completely legato. Uh, yeah, so the problem is that, that most cellists play um, when they should not, you know, but when they should, they don't do it also. That's, you know, you should really. And that has to, to it really goes back to, to uh, Baroque and, and, and uh, classical way of treating the bow. And that's, it's romantic music, but it's still part of it. So this is one way of thinking about um, Bach homage, um, and of course there's there's um, a, a lot of like really like motivic material, um, which is completely related. So let's try the beginning again, and and you you look more for connection of the notes, and and uh, look for uh, I mean not here. No. Yes, yes, really. So, so you speak. But the very beginning, I like more connect uh, connective. Um, uh, 
having uh, chamber music lessons with uh, Robert Levin. Um, and many, many years later, I was also lucky to, to even play with him. I want Beethoven Sonata, just amazing, you know, the guy, he knows everything. And uh, still can play the piano, it's absolutely uh, amazing. And I remember when we discussed in, in Ravinia about, about uh, cliches of tempo. So uh, you, you're normally taught, uh, don't get faster when you get louder. Yeah. <laughs> no? uh, and, and don't get slower when you get, softer. you get softer. But most probably that's exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. No? <laughs> to have, you know, when, when, the, when it really goes... Uh, it's, it's, you, stay, you stay too, too reserved, somewhat, too much on the back. Yeah, it's not emotional like, enough. There's like a legend about Brahms that when he wrote this, he meant also like going a little forward with the music. That's not a legend. That's um, exactly what it's uh, yeah. true. Yeah, I mean, true. Uh, and, and this sonata is a proof for that, uh, especially looking at the last movement, mm -hmm. which we don't do uh, this time. But it's so clear that in the last movement, all the parts that have like uh, fugato material, they don't have that. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very, absolutely. Yeah. But um, um, this. Uh, <laughs> This part. Uh, a lot. Up and down, up and down. A lot of these sides. Mm -hmm. The others not. So you can really, yeah. you know, you can yeah. really go with it. Yeah. You know? uh, but even if it doesn't say it's so exciting, you know, and uh, you know, there's so big intervals, you know, you have to really um, Go for it. Mm -hmm. um, slightly before, shortly before. Um, uh, or, um, or before that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. string, of course. <laughs> we want to have fun here. But still, um, there's this uh, new, uh, new element. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't play too cellistic here. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's, uh, let let, uh, let the, new, the new idea come through. Mm -hmm. Just before. And speak. Yes, exactly. 